iOS 16 that Apple actually didn't share anywhere. And I think you're gonna love some of these features because they're very, probably they didn't get mentioned in the big announcements because they were small, but they can be very, very useful. Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. So let's talk about feature number one in iOS 16. Uh, so let's go to messages. One of the things you can do in uh, messages is there is a built-in conversion. Uh, so for example, let's say someone sent uh, us 33 degrees Celsius. So I can click on this. I hope you can see this. Let me make sure you can change this. And now you can see it much better. There you go. So if I, tap, if I hold on this, look at this. So it's going to automatically convert this into other units. So very, very uh, cool feature. So let's say if I do 35 kgs like this, hit send. And as a test, I'm just sending it to myself. <laughs> and then let's see, and look at this. So it's gonna automatically convert that into grams, uh, kilograms, or oh, actually pounds, grams, tones. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so there is a built-in conversion, unit conversion that you have inside your uh, messages. Very, very useful feature. So let's talk about feature number two. So when you take screenshots, so here's something really interesting and cool. So I take a lot of screenshots and it take up a lot of space. But now, if you click on done, look at this copy and delete. So what this means is I'm, it deleted that screenshot. I copied it. It's in my, I can paste it into the email. I can paste it into the notes. But it's not going to take up space on my phone. So you can quickly copy and then delete your screenshots. Very, very handy feature. Feature number three, it's inside your contacts app. So there are a couple of things here. Number one, you probably know this, uh, you can find duplicates now inside. So if you have a bunch of contacts, I used to save people and I, I forget and I save them again and that's a duplicate, takes up space so you can merge them. But what I wanna talk about is ability to create different contact groups. So you can create like, a, I have a group for family, Tessa, work. So you can create any group. So for example, let's say I wanna add a list. What's the list name? So let's just say, Hold on one second. It's my phone is acting up, obviously. <laughs> when you're doing the tutorial and you're doing it live, your phone starts acting up. So let's go back here and see if it acts friendly. So I think it's one of my uh, older phones. And it's just acting up today for some reason. There you go. Now we can do it. So for example, uh, I'm just going to say as a test, so it's not even typing. So there's something, I do have, another thing I should mention, I do have a beta software running on this. So that could be part of the issue that I have uh, iOS 16 beta running on this phone. So that could be uh, the one that's causing the hang. Because one thing I've noticed, if you have beta tools, uh, it can cause sometimes problem. But anyways, when you add a list, you can create lists here. And then when you go inside the list, let me see if I can go actually go inside any list. If not, we'll just kind of jump into the next tip. But you get the point. You're going to click here, add list, and then you can add different lists. And you can, you're able to, so once you have a list, click on plus icon, and now you can add people to it. So that's what I wanted to show you. <laughs> Thank you, Apple, for just failing me. Or actually, it's not. It's the beta software. I'm running iOS 16.03 beta 5, I think, on this phone. All right, next one. And I think this is really cool. You're going to love this one. It's inside notes. Um, so if you go to your notes and click on this uh, markup icon, now you can type, sign, and add shapes very easily. So if I click on plus icon at the bottom, add text. So let's add some text here. I'm going to say cool text here. So you can add text like this on this. And then I can make it bigger. There you go. But if I go back, I can add shape. So rectangle, let's say that shape. Look at that. So you can do all of these inside your notes. Another thing you can do is go back and add signature. So here's the, if you want to add your signature in the notes, you can do that. 
So that's my like signature, <laughs> one of the test signatures. Um, so very, very handy features. It's inside the markup tool. Click plus, and then here are the new additional tools that are in there. So that's our feature number four. Uh, let me go back and now number five. So number five is one of the things Apple added in iOS 16 is this search here, right? So you can click here and it brings up the spotlight search. But another way to bring up the spotlight search, you just anywhere, just swipe down and you're going to get the search, right? So this is kind of like redundant and a lot of people, you don't even know how many until you uh, stop or start scrolling how many home screens you have, right? So there's a feature you can actually disable that. So if you go to your settings and then go to home screen right here, show home screen search, and it's gonna disable the spotlight search. And now you're back to your good old, how many home screens you have, and you can quickly, easily swipe through them, right? Very, very cool feature. So these were the five features that are very less known. I don't think a lot of people uh, know about these features. And by the way, if you wanna, I'm getting a lot of questions. If you wanna know how to create a cool looking home screen like this, so this circular shape, I'm using a widget, but I'm gonna put a tutorial on the screen. Go watch the tutorial and you can create a cool looking home screen like this for your phone. Thank you so much for watching. I'll